<laughs> so what are you guys? We are the Spartanwood family. Hey guys, this is Psych Teacher John. Uh, so we were basically inspired by our MCAT students who really thought we should start a podcast. And we we're thinking like to help them out, what would be probably the amenable to a podcast? Like physics, chemistry, biology, psychology, sociology. And we thought psych would be good. But then we thought, you know, if we're going to do a psych podcast anyway, why keep it, you know, just MCAT related? We can kind of open it up to everyone. So hopefully this will help everyone out a little bit. Uh, what we're going to do is in the beginning, we're going to start with some psych terms, talk a little bit about social psych, uh, you know, some terms that go with that, ways of thinking about it, examples, and maybe how you can apply this in real life. And then from there, we'll, we'll keep it mellow. So some of our students were like, we'd love a podcast going over psych terms for the MCAT. Others are like, I just want to talk about psychology in general. Some were like, I would rather just hear stories that we talk about in class, like funny stories, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to keep it very mellow, very open, and we definitely appreciate some feedback. Okay. But for this first, you know, really brief intro, we're going to start with social psych because people generally like hearing about how you think about people, how you interact with them. In particular, we're going to start with um, what we call the fundamental attribution error. Okay, so that's a term, if you're worried about the terms, you know, in psych, whenever they give you an acronym, like FAE, you know that they take that seriously. So um, FAE is the fundamental attribution error, but rather than define it, let's, let's talk about an example. So the best way is think about it this way. You, you're watching someone, they're walking across, you know, the classroom or something, and you see them slip, or you see them walk across the street, and then just take a spill, okay? So if they fall on their butt, one thing could be very naturally, like, okay, maybe the floor was wet, maybe the street was slippery, maybe something was going on, or you could just be like, that person was clumsy, okay? So a natural thing to do is, do you think it's about the situation or do you think it's about who the person is or something about the person, okay? So I think back in like 1958 or something, uh, Fritz Heiser, or Heider, sorry, he developed a theory called attribution theory. And his formal terms were dispositional, like disposition meaning your personality, where you attribute the behavior or whatever to who the person is, okay? Like their personality, biology, genetics, whatever. It's something about them versus situational, where you attributed what's going on to the situation. So then it was more about, oh, the floor is wet, uh, the floor is slippery, right? Whereas with dispositional, you're more like, oh, the person is clumsy, okay? So, uh, you know, I like the terms internal and external. So is the attribution internal about the person or is the attribution external about the situation? But anyway, give me more examples. Say like uh, you're a waiter and you just serve someone and they tip you a penny, okay? You could try a situational uh, attribution where you're like, oh, maybe like, uh, you know, maybe they don't have any change on them. Or maybe like, uh, maybe my service is bad, you know, something like that. But most people, like the, the inclination is you sit there, you see them tip you a penny, and you're like, oh my God, they're cheap. What an a-hole, they're super cheap. So the fundamental attribution error is we don't take context sufficiently into account. When we see something happen, we tend to blame it on the person and not the situation, okay? It doesn't always have to be bad though, right? So you're watching someone, they get like a perfect score. They top out on some exam, like a biochem exam or something. Your initial reflex could be, well, that exam must be easy. I need to check out that prof. But, you know, most people sit there and go, wow, they're smart. They got a perfect score. It must be because they're smart. Okay. So this thing, it sounds really simple, but it has far reaching consequences because what you attribute, like in general, not just internal, external, but the way you make attributions profoundly affects what you do. In terms of what we're talking about here with the fundamental attribution error, think of it this way. And now I'm not taking a side here and saying you should view poverty one way or the other. I'm just saying whether you attribute things internally or externally makes a huge difference. So for example, um, if you see someone in a state of poverty, you know, and you make the attribution internal, your tendency might be something like this. Oh, you know what? They should get a job. They should be working harder. You know, they should be trying. Like I'm working hard every day. I'm working my butt off. Why can't they? Okay. But if for some reason you make the attribution external, then you might be like, that could be me. You know, it's not about the person, it's about the situation. They weren't given the opportunities, they weren't given the resources, we should do more. We should do more as a society to help them out. So you can already see the ramifications on public policy, you know, your political views, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, you know, I don't wanna go too far off subject, but another way where attribution in general makes a big difference could be like in the dating game. So they did this famous survey where a lot of women were being professional. They're being professional and friendly because that's what they're required to do, okay? And what happened was, how did the guys attribute their behavior? And so uh, apparently seven out of the 10 women who honestly were just being friendly and had no sexual interest reported that the guys perceived their friendliness as a sexual come on. So the attribution is it's a sexual come on and not just you know professionalism or being nice or being polite or friendly, okay? So you can already see where that can go in a bad direction. 
right? So again, it doesn't always have to be bad, but how you attribute things has a profound effect, okay? We'll definitely get into more, some more interesting things because naturally from this we'll segue into um, attitudes, the components of attitudes. We'll talk about how um, attitudes affect behavior and behavior can affect attitudes. Uh, that's really interesting. That's like the um, foot in the door technique or the foot in the door phenomenon. That's also cognitive dissonance, one of my favorite things, okay? But for this first intro podcast, the theme here is gonna be the fundamental attribution error. So you can view things either internally or externally. Internal dispositional, so a dispositional attribution, or externally, a situational attribution. Okay? And the fundamental attribution error is oftentimes we make that attribution internal rather than taking context, right? The situation into account. By the way, to show you how profound this is, they did an experiment in which um, they actually told the people up front, this person is going to talk to you. They're not, they don't have any problems with you whatsoever. We told them to be rude. So please take that into account when you're interacting with them. And the participants were like, okay, yeah, no big deal, whatever. But once the experiment was done, they were interviewed and they were asked, so what do you think about this person? Like what they're really like, not what we told them to do, but what they're really like. And uh, a lot of them responded with, well, you know what? They're kind of an a-hole. Okay. So remember, not in the experiment, but what, we really, what you really think they're like as a person. Yeah, they're kind of an a-hole. So you can see even when told, you know, there are situational factors involved, a lot of people still make that internal attribution. So as with everything in psych, I always need to preface this. Um, you take it with a grain of salt, right? Psychology is really trying to apply the scientific method to, be, to human behavior. And honestly, statistically, for large groups of people, things like that, when you look at this, you can be pretty effective. But um, things are very complicated. So for any given individual, you know, it, maybe the statement, the exception is the rule, is probably a better way to think of it. So even though we say all this stuff and it, it jives with what you see in intro psych books and general psychology, you know, always remember that like, Every situation is different. People are very complex. It's very hard to predict individual behavior. And even though these trends are useful to know, you know, they're obviously not the end all be all. Okay, but hopefully that helped. Please, again, give us feedback so we know go slower, go faster, more stories, more technical terms, whatever you want, because we want to make it worth your time. I'd definitely be of value to you. So help us out on Instagram, Swart with Prep, S W A R T W O O D P R E P. And just let us know what you think. So yeah, hopefully this helped and I'll see you guys soon.